In this video, we're going to take a horse-drawn tour of Stanley Park in Vancouver coming up right up. One of the things that Cheryl and I did uh, while we were exploring Vancouver uh, using public transportation is we went out to Stanley Park. And uh, a short walk from where the bus left us, let us out, uh, we were able to get on board this uh, horse-drawn carriage. Now, this particular carriage was not accessible, but they do have some. We just took the last ride of the day. Uh, you, we're pulling up into an area where there's a bunch of uh, totems. We'll get out and take a look at a couple of them. You can see in the distance over there, there were individuals that were here for uh, some kind of a formal event getting pictures taken. But we're going to pull in here and uh, take a look at, at a couple of the totems. Uh, this park had uh, numerous uh, totems in it. Uh, we uh, stopped there. We were probably there five minutes or so taking a look at it and looking at the sculptures uh, that were there in the park. Uh, after we were done with that, uh, we would continue to uh, go around uh, the outside of the park. And this park is uh, beautiful. Our guide was super knowledgeable. She shared a lot of information about the different kinds of trees and the buildings that were in the park. This park is a very historic. In the distance, you can see the Brockton Pavilion. This uh, large green space is used both for uh, cricket and for uh, the rugby teams. And behind me on the other side, uh, we're going, still going along uh, the edge of the bay. Coming up in just a second, we're going to see uh, the caretaker's house. It's uh, one of the very few uh, structures that's uh, occupied year-round in the park. The, the gentleman that is the head caretaker lives there with his family. In the early part of the 1900s, there had been uh, quite a few squatters had built structures in the park, but in the 1930s or so, they were evicted and the buildings removed. Uh, this statue on the rock is called the Lady in a Wetsuit. It had originally been intended that this would be a replica of the Little Mermaid in Copenhagen, but uh, the Danish government wouldn't uh, approve that. This is called the Fox's Den. It's a water uh, splash area for kids visiting the park. You can see one of the streets uh, that the horses went down. And there's a picture of a horse-drawn carriage that doesn't have anybody on board. And the white object you see is a replica of the, f the figurehead from the Empress of Japan, the originals in the Maritime Museum. And you can see Lion's Gate uh, Bridge on the left side. And that was uh, partially funded by the Guinness family in the 1930s. Now this com structure coming into view is called Lumberman's Arch. It was originally a created like a building and then uh, it uh, decayed and was replaced with this uh, version of it. It was uh, built to honor the son of Queen Victoria on a visit. And coming into view on the left is one of the concession stands that are scattered throughout the park. Uh, the park has miles and miles of walking trails, so they get a lot of visitors that are uh, moving through the park and gives a place, people a place to get a bite to eat. As we continue along in our walk through the park, uh, you'll see a lot of uh, very beautiful scenery. Uh, the various uh, types of plants in the forest, and our guide was really good at explaining them. In the video, we'll share some of the pictures that we took as well. This was uh, the Royal Yacht Cub in the harbor. This uh, picture was taken in the area where we boarded the wagon as we were getting ready to head out. You can see uh, downtown Vancouver, uh, Vancouver Place, some of the ships. And again, some of the beautiful scenery. One of the things I'll say about Stanley Park is it's very, very accessible, wheelchair friendly. Uh, it would be good for families uh, with uh, individuals that may have sensory issues because it is calm and uh, peaceful. It's just a gorgeous place to visit. Uh, we're headed back up to the Stanley Park Pavilion, which is where we got off the bus and, and then walked down the hill to 
the where we picked up the carriage ride. And this is one of those things, and I would encourage anybody that's visiting Vancouver to include Stanley Park. There's an aquarium we didn't have time to go see. There is just so much more to see and do there. But the horse-drawn carriage ride was really enjoyable, and it was a great way to get an overview of what was in the park. For those uh, that are fully uh, able-bodied and have some stamina, the walk along the seawall to see all the things we saw and be able to do it a little more leisurely would be incredible. Uh, we found that public transportation, because we arrived here and we would leave here on public transportation, it was no problem with the wheelchair. Uh, the Stanley Park Pavilion here does have uh, accessible restrooms. 